สวัสดีครับ and welcome to Morning Focus I'm Arlet Bunyai and I am Don Sini g r i t h y a p i m o n p o t Kun Arlet the diplomat in the diplomatic arena it seems to be gaining momentum as Thai and Cambodian representatives will meet at the UN Security meeting next Monday to find a solution to the border conflict right and meanwhile it seems like both governments on either side of the border have agreed to resolve this conflict diplomatically however there are fears over renewed fighting as a Additional troops and tanks have both been deployed on both the Cambodian and Thai side of the border. And we have accounts of Thai soldiers telling us what happened during the clashes, which they say were attempts to take over the area by Cambodian troops. And of course, we'll have all the comments from the Thai newspapers and the headlines on the uh, uh, top stories, including the failure of the international diplomacy of the Thai government, coming up right after this short break. And welcome back to Morning Focus. As always, let's start with our headlines. Kun a r g l e t and this headline is from Kom s h a t l u k Hun Sen ignores bilateral negotiations and insists that this is a war. Now he claimed Thailand started the conflict and believed that Thai that the war dragged on. Now Hun Sen also called Thai Prime Minister a p i s i t a cunning man, and accused him of war crime and should be tried in. The world, the world court. Right, dragging more people into this conflict. Now, over in Thai Rat, their headline is Thailand has deployed more tanks at the border. Now, this refers to uh, this goes on to talk about uh, other developments in the story, and that is with Foreign Minister uh, Gasit p i r o m uh, who has lashed out at three countries. Those countries being India, Russia, and France. Now, he did that because they have apparently backed Cambodia. He's also said that he is ready to now talk to his Cambodian counterpart, Ho Nam Hong, uh, and insisted that if Cambodians want a war, then it is war that they will get. Right, and with that, we move on to Mati s h o n k u n a r g l i t We do have an interesting remark by our very own Foreign Minister. g a s i t says Hun Sen is a delinquent child. He warned the Cambodian Prime Minister not to put up a fight with Thailand, or he could end up getting hurt. He also lashed out at Russia for selling weapons to Cambodia, and say that, uh, saying that Russia did it despite Thailand, which has earlier refused to buy weapons from them. So he called Hun Sen a delinquent child. Yes. Right. Okay. Now moving on to this, uh, more developments in this story. Now going to the border conflict. Thailand and Cambodia have now agreed to address the uh, UN Security Council on Monday. Now, this is part of uh, diplomatic efforts to resolve the border conflict between both countries. Uh, the UNSC has invited ASEAN Chairman, that's Marty Natalagawa, and Thai Foreign Minister g a s i t p i r o m and also his Cambodian counterpart Ho Nam Hong to clarify uh, regarding the recent military clashes and also uh, the issues along the Thai-Cambodian uh, border. Now, the meeting is expected to be an opportunity for the Thai Foreign Minister to come face to face with his Cambodian counterpart, and hopefully, at this meeting, they should be able to come up with a solution to the problem. Correct. And meanwhile, Foreign Ministry spokesperson Thani Thong p a g d i said that the UN S. Does not act as a mediator on this matter. He also confirmed that the foreign minister will also take this opportunity to seek a solution with Mr. Hornam Hong on the sidelines of the meeting. Meanwhile, the head of the Joint Boundary Commission or JBC, Asada Jaya Nama, will fly to Paris tomorrow to clarify the current Thai-Cambodian border situation with UNESCO's Director General Irina Borkova. Right now, um, despite the fact that there seems to be a lot of movement uh, on the diplomatic front, there's uh, obviously with the UN, uh, it does seem that tensions do remain high on both sides of the border. Now, uh, in fact, yesterday new heavy armaments were deployed along the border on both sides, uh, and this. Um, Countries have raised concern over possible renewed fighting. Now, uh, with regards to this, more than 30 tanks from the fifth, uh, the fifth battalion cavalry rolled into s i s i k e t s Gantalarak district yesterday morning, along with a large number of troop reinforcements. Now, a source in the army has said that mobilization of these forces is hoped to send a signal to Cambodia and also back the foreign ministries. Uh, and the government's talks with Cambodia, so at the same time, it's going to worry them and maybe pressure them into making more diplomatic uh, moves. 
and it seems like things could be getting worse before they could get better because Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen indicated yesterday he had no intention of backing down soon and has accused Thailand of committing a war crime in the four days of cross-border shelling that resolved in at least eight deaths and scored injuries. He said that Thailand is making this war, not Cambodia, and that the Prime Minister must take responsibility for these war crimes, adding that the conflict was not just an armed clash but a real war. Now, Hun Sen was quoted by Phnom Penh Post saying that we have to take long action, uh, not just one or two days to finish it. We have to make a long plan strategy to struggle with Thailand. And to struggle with Thailand is not just one day or one year, but many years. Right, now keeping on the diplomacy side, yesterday uh, Prime Minister Abhisit Rechashiwa uh, affirmed that uh, during his talks with the United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon that Thailand had in fact exercised its right to defend itself uh, during the time that these border clashes broke out. Now he said that Thai troops had done nothing but retaliate to Cambodia's use of force and that he insisted that Thai troops had at no point targeted civilians in its military offensive. He also went on to add that he is ready to send photos to the United Nations to prove that the Pratwihan temple is being used to mount attacks against Thailand. And then he went on to remind the United, uh, the United Nations Secretary General that he had in fact early insisted that if um, it had gone on to list the area and the management plan of Pratwihan that this would go on to further intensify problems between Thailand and Cambodia. Correct. And meanwhile, Prime Minister Apisid Wei Chashiwa said he told the UN Secretary General that the dispute can still be resolved through bilateral uh, talks. And he also expressed confidence that the UN is likely to support attempts to resolve the border conflict at a bilateral level. Hai, however, said that it would take a while before he and the Cambodian leader would hold talks and that authorities in charge are doing their very best to ease the tension. Right, now moving on from uh, what's going on there to um, UNESCO. Now, uh, they had planned a visit to Pratwihan. However, the Prime Minister has said that it is not right for the UNESCO delegation to proceed with the planned visit to the temple, uh, on, and that was supposed to be held on February 14th, because uh, at the moment uh, there's reports that there has been damage to different parts of the temple. Now, Thailand saw the planned visit as inappropriate because the situation along the Thai-Cambodian border still remains unstable. And a foreign ministry spokesman, Khun Thani Tong Pak Di, has said that uh, they can go there when the tension eases, but if they go there now, this might do nothing else but make the situation more complicated. Now, Khun Thani also insisted that uh, if UNESCO should uh, want to go there, they should obtain permission from Thailand first before they go to inspect any damage at the site. Correct. And meanwhile, Thailand has earlier admitted that they had fire artillery shells at the temple, but only because the, the Cambodian troops uh, there attacked Thai soldiers from the area, which forced them to fire back. Now, Cambodia's foreign ministry, however, said in a statement yesterday, it strongly rejects such slanderous assertion. In the statement released yesterday, the ministry insisted that there has never been and there will never be Cambodian soldiers at the temple of Pratwihan as it has always been a place for worship and for uh, tourism and only the security presence at the temple is only in a small number of policemen with light weapons. However, the Associated Press reported yesterday its journalists saw hundreds of Cambodian soldiers in and around the temple compound which was fortified by sandbag bunkers. So interesting.